Hello fellow surfers, welcome to Flavor Tasters, the food and beverage review channel. I hope you guys are well, and it's all things related to food and health and yada 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 yada. Anyway guys, this is the Stella Artois, and this is the Hells. As you can tell the difference in the flavors, the Stella Artois, Hells, and it just totally disappears, the Hells. It's a lighter yellow. And we're going to start off with, do you know what, is, let's pull this um, like this. Mm. Right, let's try and get my hand a little bit lower for the thumbnail. I don't know. But anyway, so... We'll start off with the uh, Stella Artois unfiltered. And obviously, you know, I like this. I've already done a review on this. You can check that video out. It's mostly like a wheaty flavor um, kind of lager. Your generic kind of lager, but with a fuller body. It's got a fuller, more richer flavour because it's unfiltered. <clears throat> now, palate, I haven't got water. Well, I'll just have to have the rest of this coffee. Right. Now on to the hells. Fruity, like citrusy. Malty. So this is more of a malty um, lager, where the other one's more of a wheaty, kind of a barley. Um, <clears throat> not barley. Yeah, barley generic kind of lager but just more to another level where this one's more like super brew or is this super brew it's not super bock that's it super bock um in the malty flavor bit anise at the back of the palate um I've got to say, this goes better with those crisps, which the review was done before this. But this is a little bit bittery. Some people that don't like bitter will um, probably not like this as much as this one. Personally, I think this one's edging it, but I'm going to give it a little while. Um, this one's a little bit more bitter with the back up here on the tongue yeah so it's malty it's got malt um, taste to it a little bit of a bitterness maybe it's from a lime um, at the back and let's just let's use oxygen to uh, cleanse the palate this one it's clean, which is reloaded. No, anyway. This is just a cleansing of the palate and um, swill. Okay. Secondary. Right, now this is a flavor. Yeah, so this is like your typical kind of lager flavor, and it's more of a richer version of it. The reason that it's richer in version is, I'm assuming, because of 
the unfiltered version. Let me just change hands. Like this. Let's put that there. Um, this one, uh, the Hell's one, is um, bitter, malty, and the Stella Artois is a, a, a better version of a typical beer, uh, be <clears throat> lager. It's more bodied. Mm. This one, however, the Hell's tastes more like a super box. In fact, I would price and super box a decent drink, but I would probably say this one's like that, almost equal to that. And this, therefore, is on the same level as super box, but by itself, still Autos is probably a better <clears throat> a better drink but this has a little bit more zest to it it has a citrusy background and a malty um flavor to it almost a also like a bubble gummy kind of feel flavor aroma <clears throat> there's more going on with the hells however the slight bitterness could put people off, which, while well, there's more flavours, brings it down for the bitterness if you're getting used to drinking. If you were ever to, you know, you're hitting 18, you're getting to the point where you can have a drink, you want to just have one, maybe it's two pints. This one may put you off because it's a bitter. <clears throat> it's more of a bittery flavour. Wherefore, this one... This is always what I thought kind of logger would be like when I was younger, like rich, kind of, you know, the, the Viking style um, person. Hey, ho, we're coming to get you. We're going to go <laughs> invade you. <laughs> we're going to drink some mead. I'm, I'm just basically thinking of words that aligns with kind of Viking, uh, even though it doesn't probably make any sense. But this is kind of the mindset you would think lager should taste like a rich creamy kind of um barley feel to it now to be fair i think a little bit more creaminess and a little bit more barliness would be how your mind thinks lager would be the maltiness however um of this one is probably more of a pirate you like oh hey oh what about a rom type um thing um this one's more of a <clears throat> probably a later in history kind of drink that's evolved to so this mindset kind of sits with just before this then this evolved from this for a different flavor so personally i think um the stella artois is probably closer to what you would think a good um lager would be and the hells is kind of more of a a lager that is now evolved adapted i've got burps into something new or maybe as you would think differently i don't know what do you think tell me down in the comment section below but personally i think do you know what i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be generally i i'm, I'm kind of swaying to stella artois but i'm going to be actually honest i think they've got their total like and i'm always honest with my reviews but it's just popped in my head now, like, what if they're just, like, two different scales of flavour? What if 
they're both on the same level, just a different um, palette. The only thing that puts me off about the Hells is the slight bitterness. Um, but yes, yeah, different experiences. So what I'm going to do is, they're both equal. They're both um, 8 like 50 50. You know what I mean? Like different. This one's a multi bitterness. Yeah, this one's a multi bitterness, and this one's a. Um, a kind of more hoppy, um, wheaty kind of um, aroma with a slight lemon. This is more like a bit, a bit of uh, lime. So lemon, sour, lime, more of a bittery um, flavour to it. I personally prefer Stella, but they're just as good in flavor and taste so it just depends on your palate do you like malty kind of the i'll probably say the hells is more of a mature taste like a kind of when you get to the 40s 50s age you probably would go towards a malty thing wherefore this one would last between when you hit 18 through to like your 40s mid 40s maybe 50s and then, you know, people still drink this into their 50s and past, but this one is when it starts maturing, kind of, the bitterness, your palate starts kind of changing around about those ages, so. I, I think they're the same level. I'm not going to say, I, I'm going to say they're equal. 50-50, right down the middle, just different palettes. So I'm going to give them both an 8 out of 10. I can't judge between them. Because I'm at the age now, I'm hitting into my 40s. Like I'm getting close to the 40 age. So I can respect that kind of palette changing over time. And it's just keeping my head now, like, what if, like, because you're starting to like these drinks as well. What if the palette's just changing? the more you mature so um yeah stella artois it hells it it's just different um ones so if you do reviews on beverages food whatever i would love to see your youtube channel i would love to subscribe to your youtube channel and if you do do these let me know your um your channel name your um if you've done a review on these vid, um beverages to let me know the um title of the video that you would like me to check out in relation to these and <clears throat> yeah um if you're just a commenter you don't do content leave your views your opinion matters as well just because you don't do videos doesn't mean that I, I don't want to see your comments and your opinion on these videos that I do. So leave your views and opinions down in the comment section below. Do you agree? Disagree? It's okay to disagree, by the way. I, I think people need to know that. Like, people have different palettes, you know. I'm not going to say to you, well, you're wrong. Um, Well, actually, we can debate flavours. But... It's okay to disagree. That is what a debate is. To disagree and try and come to why something's better. You may, never, you may never ever agree totally. But at least you can have a dialogue and have a community and your little bit of banter. Anyway, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Select all notifications. Strike the like. Share the content and all of the good stuff. Leave your views and opinions down in the comment section below. Check the links in the description. And also, and also, tell me your views. I want to hear them. Join the link, Discord, and jump over. And you can promote if it's a review channel, a food review. And I might even allow a little bit of, like, technology reviews. But until the next one, I will catch us in a bit. Peace. I'll catch us in the next one.